Hello and what is up guys, Jack here and this is episode 36 of the Dream Team series. Now, at the start of this episode you can see we've got 44 Dream Team points and we actually need to buy some contracts. So I went to buy some non-rate gold contracts, I think I put in a max buy now of 200. And I think I buy about 5 of them, so about 1000 coins spent on that but I should be sorted for a good few episodes after this. But before we get into our first game, I just want to say a quick shout out to FIFA Coins today. Cheap Ultimate Team Coins, link will be in the description. You can also get 10% off with my discount code, so go and check that out. Um, also, yesterday's videos, um, you guys probably didn't see them because uh, I think maybe, maybe you guys were out, maybe you was busy. Um, I think it's mainly a sub box issue or a YouTube issue, so if you want to go and check out two previous uploads, one was a pack opening, one was a legend in the making video, so go and check them out on my channel if you missed it and you like to usually watch them. Um, also, another thing before we get into the gameplay of the video, um, we just actually conceded a penalty today. You can see I went to press B and kicked the ball when it actually kicked in. But anyway, um, if we get 150 likes before 7.45 tonight, I will be doing a giveaway on Twitter and a pack opening on the new team of the week which comes out tonight. So, make sure you hit the like button now and I'm sure we can reach that. And we usually can you know, get a good two or 300 likes on this uh, series. So, if we can get it by 7.45, I'll do a giveaway, something like an Urzil or a, a Mata or you know something like that in the uh, in the theme of tonight's game, which is uh, Arsenal versus Man United. And I'm an Arsenal supporter, so I'm obviously going to be supporting them. But anyway, we get into the first game today, and we can see it's one all. It's quite a big game actually. Uh, we get quite a lot of goals in every single game of this episode, so we've got nice gameplay for you guys. Um, but here, I was just clearing out the ball. Uh, quite a scrappy play for me. I actually, go to attacking here, and it was one of those games. I had this. I played this game last night. And um, it's one of those games, have you ever had it, where you just feel like you can't pick the right defender to use? And by the time you pick the right one, he's already through. And it's, it's kind of like that. I felt a little bit frustrated, uh, especially defensively and attacking-wise. I weren't really making that much opportunities. The possession was good that I was doing, but I just weren't making the most of my opportunities. Here, I'll get through with Tonev. It's, uh, I'm currently losing 2-3. And there, again, I just weren't making that clear-cut bang on opportunity, the right opportunity, uh, sorry, not opportunity, right decision, I just weren't making it, 90th minute, losing 3-2, one minute on the scoreboard, I was like, no, this is going to go, as soon as I kick it out, the whistle's going to go, but we do get a chance here, I, got, I see Benteke, or no, Remy, going for a run at the top there, I was like, you know what, I'm going to try and sweat this ball in, and I, he actually tackles me, he part, tries to get it out, and it doesn't work, and that is the most jammiest goal I think I've scored, most undeserved goal, to be honest, and... For some reason, he actually, I was thinking, is this guy quitting out? Is he quitting out? Really? It was only a draw, you know, I don't understand why he quit out. But because he quit out, none of us got the win, the draw, or the loss. Well, I don't know what he got, actually. All I know is I didn't get a loss, I didn't get a win, and I didn't get a draw. Did I say what he said? Anyway, nothing went on to my record is what I'm trying to say. Um, so, Dream Team points-wise, I'm not going to give myself any Dream Team points. Just because whenever a game goes onto my record, or it doesn't, I mean... I can't put that onto my Dream Team points either, which is a shame. Um, I kind of deserve it for uh, scoring three goals and actually man managing to come back right at the end there. But we start to change around our team. As you can see, quite a lot of our players are on low fitness. And the main reason why was, as I just said, I bought the contracts. Um, I went to start a game and I actually forgot to put got put the contracts on my players and then played a game I actually just you know started with a team that I played with last and that made my fitness go down to high 80s slash low 90s which uh, it's okay you know I've, I've played with like 60 uh, 60 fitness players in this series and I've managed to get some okay results but we come up against this team in the second game so it's like a PSG kind of uh, forward up there um, or yeah attacking wise it's PSG and I get to a really good start. 12th minute, I go for a shot outside the box, well outside the box actually, and uh, I did not expect that to go in. I expected to, to kind of get a corner maybe. I, I just did not expect that. Even looking at it back again, I didn't expect it. Um, but then Remy gets through here, 30th minute. I kind of panic actually, and but the accuracy was good. Put it straight into the top corner. So uh, it, Remy with a nice goal there. Um, but here, very sloppy from me, uh, very careless to be honest. I do this every you know, one in five, ten games. I accidentally pass it out because I'm trying to skip the replay and I'm just pressing A, 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 A. And by the time uh, he, he clicks A, I've clicked it again and it passes out to the first attacker, which is really frustrating. Uh, but here, he scores a header against me and it didn't take long before I got a little bit of corner luck as well. I got it back there, a little bit of aids. But nice play here, nice one too with uh, Ramirez and Ramirez puts into the back of the net. Really nice finish, and uh, he actually plays really well this episode. He scores another great goal, um, which you'll see later on in this episode. 
And uh, here, um, it's currently 4-2 to me, and uh, he does get one back though. Kind of like a almost open, open goal since it um, since my goalkeeper parried it away straight to him. But he gets through 60th minute of Lucas. Lucas, a very quick player, couldn't quite catch up with him um, until he shot. And it hit, come off the post, so it's a very accurate shot. Game ends up at 4-4, so we've had two draws this episode, but we do get a Dream Team point for that because obviously none of us quit, and that will go on to my season's record. So now I have 10 points, I need 17 points to get the title, which is always what I aim for, for those extra coins basically, and to get promoted. So after that, you can see we go into getting prepared, ready for game three, and I start to change around my team yet again. You can see there, um, I've put on Jarvis, and uh, my opinions of Jarvis, I haven't really spoke about him too much, so I think I might speak a little bit about him. So Jarvis kind of replaces Tonev, and to be honest, I'm really not sure which one I prefer the most, because uh, Tonev is taller, Jarvis is smaller, but they're both pretty quick. Jarvis has better quality kind of shooting and passing and stuff like that whereas Tonev sometimes he makes some really nice opportunities but he just doesn't make the most of it because his shooting is kind of like silver and he's, to be honest he's not very high rated silver either but anyway first game and you saw the team we come up against is basically a BPL team and we get very jammy very lucky there with Obertan managed to score that and but nice 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 played over to here, uh, Vidra getting through, or Vidra, and uh, 59th, 50th minute, sorry I was going to say 59th, getting my commentaries all messed up now, um, but I do go 2-0 up, and this game I felt a lot more better about myself, Ramirez, as I was saying earlier, does score a cracker, and it was nice, it was a nice fake shot, just outside the box, going across the goal, and uh, for, for Ramirez, that is a good shot, um, because his, his shooting's not exactly high, and... Uh, but it's not low either. It's not. Um, it's not like a defender shooting or anything. But he's, he's not exactly someone with a lot of shot power or a lot of long shot ratings. But we do win that game four 0 So that means um, we get two points on our dream teams. We've now got forty seven, which is a lot more than we can afford to spend at the moment. So uh, dream team points we have too much of in a way. But that is the end of this episode. If you can remember to hit a like on this video and obviously subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed, that would be fantastic. One hundred and fifty likes before seven forty five. I will get a video, sorry, not a video, I will do a giveaway on Twitter. So also follow me on Twitter if you're not already. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching and listening, guys. I will see you guys later. Bye.